So what would you have dropped then from the manifesto? I wouldn't drop anything from the manifesto. I think they were all the right policies. But what I would say is that there were elements within the manifesto that were deliverable within five years. Green industrial revolution, investing in education, for example. And there were other elements within the manifesto that were part of a longer term programme. So who's to blame then for that Brexit? I mean, you've got the shadow Brexit secretary standing next to you. Is he to blame? Well, it was a disaster. It was an absolute disaster. And I think there is a collective failure of leadership on Brexit that we have to own up to as a party. I take responsibility for everything in our manifesto. It was actually a shadow cabinet decision. It was actually a decision of our whole party at party conference. But I'm not going to shirk from that. There is a serious question of judgment here. And I would just say this to Keir, is that I believe that you are sincere about this. But if we do not acknowledge how badly the shadow cabinet as a whole got this wrong, we will not earn the trust of the Jewish community and those people that you talk about who I want to see back in the party will never well, look Lisa, to us again. You, Lisa, you were in a shadow cabinet when this issue came up as well. And I spoke out. I spoke out. Not the last few years. I spoke no. out just, publicly just, just, and then I left and I didn't return. Do you remember Rebecca Lombaley speaking out well, in shadow cabinet? Uh, I, I think, g g given, given where we've got to, I think the last thing our members, our movement and our country wants is us all trying to take lumps out of each other about who did what. And I'm very grounded. I think my family and my little boy, who are called the King, uh, tell me how it is. And, uh, and that kind of drives everything that I do, really. Why is he called the King? Because he, we serve him. We are his servants in our house. <laughs> Um, I was going to say to the other two candidates, can we go for a drink after this contest? Yes. Uh, if so, Wigan or Camden, and what are you drinking? Go on then. <laughs> There's a right answer to this, Keir. Wigan. Wigan. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss, and what are you drinking, Keir Starmer? Oh, I'll have a pint of bitter. OK. Drink? Gin. M my question is this. If I'm... Um, if I succeed in this, will you work with me to unite our party so that we can fight as a collective force going forward to the next general election together. Yes, absolutely. Who thought Keir Starmer won the debate? Hands up. Lisa Nandy? Rebecca Lombaley? Very unrepresentative straw poll, uh, of course. <laughs> uh, but there you go. Thank you very Sorry much uh, for being such a...